So the big question is this, how do investors like us who trade options and manage our own money generate income regardless of where the stock market goes and do it all in a way that lets us make time for the people and things we love and yet still build wealth and remain profitable? That's the question and this podcast will give you the answer. I'm your host, Kirk Duplessis, and you're listening to The Daily Call from Option Alpha. Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again from Option Alpha, and welcome back to The Daily Call. Today, our question is, should you take profits early when selling naked puts? So again, this question came out of an email that somebody sent me, and they said, Kirk, when we're selling puts on a quality stock, is it more advantageous to go ahead and take the 50% profit like we would on a spread? Or should we let it go to expiration for the full credit, being that the worst case scenario is you're put the stock and you wouldn't mind owning it anyway? The idea is that to turn right around and sell covered calls on it, should we get assigned? So we're basically talking about a concept called the wheel strategy, which is you sell a put, if you get assigned, you end up doing the covered call, and then you go back and forth you know, through this cycle or this wheel of selling puts and selling covered calls, et cetera. The sticking point on this question I think is really interesting is what they said when they said a quality stock or basically a stock that they wouldn't mind owning. So the question is always, and I pose this to people a lot when we're doing coaching is, do you want to own the stock or are you more interested in generating income from selling options against it? And then if you want to own the stock, then I would say, go ahead and ride it out for the full credit. Because what is ultimately going to happen at some point is you're going to end up owning the stock. So it's not a matter of if it's going to happen, but when it's actually going to happen. But if you're more concerned with potentially generating income and making money from trading options around a stock, then I would say you're better off to take profits. Now, again, the trade-off here is that when we do backtesting and research, we know taking profits early helps improve win rates, reduce drawdowns, all that stuff is good, right? But what we do know from research too is that when you hold it a little bit longer towards expiration, and in some cases, not all the way to expiration, but maybe hold it for a 75% profit versus a 50% profit target, you end up generating more money overall. But in exchange for that additional benefit of generating more money, you also have a little bit more volatility in your account, which means that you might potentially have slightly lower win rates in some case. You might have bigger drawdowns in some cases on the way to generating more money. So it is a trade-off. It's not that you can just, you know, arbitrarily do one or versus the other, and it ultimately ends up being the same result. You are going to have a little bit of a trade-off from generating more money to, you know, maybe a little bit more volatility in your account. So hopefully this helps out. As always, if you have any of these scenario type questions you want to shoot over to us, head on over to optionalcom slash ask and click the big red button in the, in the middle of the screen. That's where we get a lot of these for the daily calls and also for the live Q&As that we do. And until next time, happy trading. Thanks for joining us on The Daily Call. Be sure to subscribe right now for more daily options trading ideas, strategies, and tactics to help you learn how to play smarter, more profitable trades. And if you like what we're doing, don't forget to give us a rating and a review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on The Daily Call from OptionAlpha.com.